Oh my gosh. Well, first off, I have to say that it's a little weird to be performing at the Purple Onion, because that's what I call my boyfriend's penis. <laughs> that's just weird. And I performed there a lot. <laughs> okay, so I just want to talk about the big news first. The big news first. Clay Aiken came out. <laughs> to who? Clay Aiken? Because he's the only bitch that didn't know what was going on with that one. God, he's so creepy too. Like, okay, like, what's this with his, like, like, inseminoid kid that he had, his baby, with that, like, host mother, you know? Yeah. And I don't even want to think about his weird little alien Twizzler penis. And then, like, nine months later, what does it do? Burst out of her chest cavity? <laughs> Gross. Clay Aiken freaks me out. You know, I'd say he was the white Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson's the white Michael Jackson. <laughs> Already. <laughs> hey, where is Michael? He is undercover these days, isn't he? I have to know what the last thing I heard, he was in Saudi Arabia at some sheik's palace, like up to his melted face and boy pussy. <laughs> Stay there. To quote your own songs, beat it, Michael Jackson. Just beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it. He's a dirty bird. So I was glad that Nick uh, Leonard, who was earlier, I love Nick, um, he mentioned the Folsom Street Fair. And I went to the Folsom Street Fair, and you know, it's the big leather fair. It's a, I mean, basically, it's like six or seven blocks of man ass. So you got your, you, no, really, you got your man ass in chaps. You got your man ass with the butt plug. You got your man ass with the whip marks. But the one thing you will not find in those six or seven blocks is a fleck of poo. <laughs> because gay guys clean the shit up. Those asses are fucking scrubbed, douched, washed, laser derma braised. That is a Silkwood moment. Like <laughs> scrubbing that ass down. I appreciate it. And if there's any, if there's any straight guys here to wonder why your girl won't go near your ass, it's because you need to do something more than just run water over it. <laughs> it's called soap. <laughs> yeah. But I had a super good time at the Folsom Street Fair. I totally dressed cute, and yeah. And you can like go, and you can like buy some, you know, six toys, and you can go, and you can buy some, some porno, and, but this I have to say, and there's enough gay guys here that we can just like, let's talk some serious shit. What the hell is in lube that it should cost $18, $24 for a tiny little bottle? Like, what is that, nun sweat? Elvis tears? <laughs> It reminds me of that, like, in The Lord of the Rings, when Kate Blanchett gives that little potion to Frodo. In times of deepest dryness. Take this lube, Frodo of the Shire. Alright, golly, Gene Wilker.